Hi, uh, today is uh, Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. It's my 16th day in a row uh, doing these uh, videos. Um, yesterday's, when I was doing it, um, it just the shut off and it was because my iPad uh, was full. So I just deleted all of these videos. So I hope uh, YouTube doesn't lose them. Because uh, I don't have them anymore. Um, but anyway, the last couple days have been uh, challenging. Uh, my my um, temperature was down to 94, I think 94.2 or something. I don't remember exactly. I wrote it down, but I don't remember. Anyway, um, and so I was worried about uh, a number of things, including ketoacidosis and uh, my temperature has been low for many years, but never that low. Uh, and I, I know it's a thyroid thing. And um, in fact, I was looking online about Hashio, uh, Hashiomoto uh, disease or whatever that is. And, you know, it's where the, um, it attacks uh, the thyroid and other uh, things. Anyway, uh, today and yesterday I was not on keto. I did not um, stay on it. Um, and my um, carbs were pretty high today and yesterday. Um, but I'm not quitting. I'm going to just readjust. Um, I was thinking of the Whole30 diet and also paleo diet and keto. Uh, but I think I'll combine them to where um, I'll try to keep my uh, carbs low, but not, you know, I was keeping them at 10, 15, 20, and um, I think that's too low um, for me right now. So I'll still be eating, um, I'm, I'm starting again tomorrow, where I will be eating keto-like foods, but adding a little more carbs, uh, maybe as many maybe as much as uh, 50 carbs instead of tw uh, 15 or 20 or maybe a little more. I don't know, but I, um, I don't know. My body's all messed up. <laughs> and so I need to um, uh, figure it out um, without making it worse. And, um, and my blood sugar uh, while on keto was staying uh, low um, it didn't stay all that low today. I think my high today or yesterday was in the 300s. So I've, anyway, I'm just trying, to, I, I know I'm the only one watching and that's fine. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm, uh, apologizing to whoever's out there when no one's out there. Um, I'm just, um, I want to keep doing these though because I need to, um, Keep, continue to remind myself that I need to do something and so I am staying on and uh, tomorrow I will start without um, uh, getting off the last couple of days I had a lot of gum uh, it's sugar it's bubble you know double bubble gum it's like five carbs each and I've had a lot of I sometimes I put as many as six in my mouth at a time it's crazy when I was a kid my parents even um got me the kind of wax to make candles with and said chew on that instead of gum um and I did chew on the wax for a while but I like bubble gum better <laughs> uh sugar um so anyway uh, I'm gonna try to make this uh short I guess it's too late it's longer already than I had planned because I don't have a lot to say other than uh, I'm going to continue to do these videos every night and try to figure out um, the right diet. I'm going to st start tomorrow again doing something like keto, only adding more carbs, healthy carbs. Um, I don't know if I will eat something like bread because uh, that is more carbs, but it's also wheat. I, years ago I read a book called uh, Wheat Belly and how bad uh, wheat is. You know, it's not the same wheat that they used to 
you know, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, wheat was wheat, but now it's all, uh, they've changed it, um, you know, Monsanto and all the different changes that have been made, uh, which are totally unhealthy. Um, wheat isn't wheat anymore, and it's not good for us, and it's in everything, everything. And um, so it's hard to, you know, uh, although uh, I know that um, on reversing diabetes, uh, Christy Honeycutt Sullivan uh, has recipes, well, a lot of people have recipes for uh, keto-friendly, like bread and stuff like that, using almond flour and things like that. Although eventually they'll figure that that's bad too. It seems like they throughout the last 50 years, maybe 100, for maybe forever, um, they'll say, oh, this is good for you. And then you, they'll turn around and say, oops, sorry, it causes cancer. You know, so I don't think anybody knows what's truly up because it always changes. So I think the best thing <clears throat> is even fruits and vegetables, they're covered with pesticides. And I've wanted to grow my own food for a very long time, but just haven't done it yet. Um, I also wanted solar panels and wind power and wanted to, um, you know, become totally self-sufficient, have a lot of land and, um, uh, you know, not be dependent on food that's uh, tainted with Roundup and all the poisons that they put on it. And um, also have power, you know, um, solar power and wind power, and uh, just haven't done it yet. Probably never will, but um, I keep trying, like I keep trying on these diets, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've been on diets, I'm 66, and I think my first diet was probably when I was like five, uh, and it's just a constant battle that I keep losing, um, never get anywhere, but, um, I don't know, anyway, I'm, I am going to try again tomorrow, um, and it won't be total keto, because I don't think I should have that low carbs, because it did affect me, uh, in more than just being, uh, weak and tired, it affected my temperature, at least I think that's what affected it, uh, and, uh, the temperature going that low is dangerous. And um, since I've been eating more, my temperature is uh, higher. It's still low because it's always low, but it's not anywhere near in the 94s. It's usually 95.5, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Sometimes 96. But um, so I'm doing another one tonight, and I'll do another one tomorrow night. I'm going to try to vlog every night. And, uh, see what happens. But, uh, anyway, thank you for listening. I hope everything's going really, really, really good with you, whoever you are. I'm assuming it's just me, and that's fine. And, um, like they say, uh, subscribe. <laughs> Push the subscribe button down below. Um, and the little bell, uh, for notifications that I put up a new one. And, um, please put any comments, concerns, questions, whatever you have down there. And, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow night. Thank you. Bye.